Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. Fuego here. And we are back rapidly after our first reaction of the day. Um, so apparently we're going to squeeze another one in because they finally released the trailer for the horror movie remake of the Banana Splits, which is... Oh, it's a horror movie, I guess, inspired by the Banana Splits? The Banana Splits was an old 60s and 70s... Um, TV show for kids, and uh, it starred these characters that you're seeing below me right now. Um, obviously, they didn't look quite the same back then. I think these are the updated versions of them from they the have movie. To be if it's the still that they have floating around, mm -hmm. but yeah, this is some weird stuff that I remembered seeing in syndication when it was being rerun in the '80s as a kid, and just the whole furry band kind of thing. Like, I, I, I mean, or I get. Strange, strange stuff, man. And it felt like some late 60s acid trip come to life for, for children. And uh, I don't know. They, it seems to me if they're going this R-rated wacky approach, they're going like what? Meet the Feebles uh, meets maybe Death to Smoochie a little bit kind of vibe. I don't I don't know. But I thought this was a joke at first, but apparently not. So I'm thinking they're probably trying to go for a more Five Nights at Freddy's vibe. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you know, not necessarily that they're animatronic, but... Um, you know, that sort of scary look, you know, I think that's, that might be what they're trying to cash in on more than, uh, the death to the smoochie kind of thing, but we'll see, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, so, I was thinking as far as just vibe goes, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. but they're getting all violent and crazy, but yeah, let's, let's see what this weirdness is all about, man. All right. So I got it pulled up and we'll do the little countdown. This is a sci-fi produced movie, but it's also made by, uh, it's in conjunction with Warner Bros. Pictures. Um, it is going to be, it is labeled as a TV movie, but it is also mm -hmm. being touted as a rated R movie. Mm -hmm. So I think it might be one of those sci-fi movies they can only play after 10 p.m. or something like that. Um, but, you know, where they can say the S word and things like that. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. The S word. My virgin ears. Uh, so are you ready for it, go? Yeah, I'm down. Let's, Let's count it that, down yeah. in three, two, one, go. Horror, violence, and gore. Yeah. Hey, that's the actual tune. Wow. We are going to the banana splits. Ooh, that's a bit of a Chucky vibe. I see the splits riding around in the little cars, laughing and singing. Who's excited to see the banana splits? It does look kind of like a sci-fi movie to me. What? A little bit. Hi, kids. Put on your ha happiest faces because the Banana Split Show is oh. about to begin. Maybe it is five nights like you said. Yeah, maybe it's animatronics. Mom, get out of here. Time's almost up. What? Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Nice! Leprechaun 3. And Come on, you fussy son. Oh, yep, yeah, they're animatronics. I just really want your brother's birthday to be perfect. Ha! <laughs> okay. Slow down and the pitch alterations. La, 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 la. Hmm. Right. So it's going to have a physical release and digital release, and then it's going to air on sci fi later? Maybe? I, I guess I don't know I don't know so I started it over um, th so yeah definitely they're going the Five Nights at Freddy's route except yeah. they're not going to be putting this they're obviously not putting I mean that's the thing it's obviously people inside these things here but then they're going <laughs> to try and make it like their animatronics later I don't know Sast or something it was the glowing red eyes that just made me wonder well uh, that well no not only that but they show one of them with part of its face torn off and it's all metal underneath they did a Terminator uh, shot. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's they're trying to make it seem like they're animatronic, but they're not moving like they're animatronic by any stretch of the imagination. So I don't know. Maybe it's maybe they replace the humans with animatronics, and those are the ones that are killing. That's responsible. Mm. Yeah, maybe that's the case. But I don't know. I mean, we're not getting quite as much carnage as I was hoping we'd get in a in a trailer. I was hoping maybe it would be a red band, but. Clearly, it's not. It's, it was a green trailer, but 
Especially if it is an R-rated film, I think maybe they should have put that foot forward first and mm -hmm. just shown that this is going to be violent. I think production values look sci-fi yeah. level, and as does the acting from some of these people that are about to get killed. So I, I, I'm not expecting much from this, but no. it, uh, I'll, I'll definitely watch it. Okay, yeah, I, I just saw that quick animatronic shot that you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, this isn't as exciting as I was hoping it was going to be. Yeah, no. <laughs> I wanted to jump on it because I figured there might be something to it, but mm, nope, mm -hmm. nope. This, yeah, this just, I don't know. It doesn't even make it. It really, it looks so sci-fi that I don't even know that I. Um, maybe I'll wait and hear some word of mouth reviews first, but uh, I don't know. Want to, want to dedicate the eighty something minutes? <laughs> Not necessarily. I don't blame. I don't blame you, man. I don't think this looks very good at all. <laughs> no, yeah, unfortunately, right. but you know, can't win them all. So, uh, why don't you guys let us know in the comments down below? Did you used to watch the banana splits? You know, maybe the people that used to watch it are going to be more on board than, than us. Um, so let us know in the comments down below if you did, or if, even if not, what did you think of this trailer? Does it make you interested or does it look super cheesy to you? Or I don't know. I'd be curious about some other opinions. So, uh, let's mm -hmm. get that conversation going in the comments down below. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. Say something, I mean, fuego. And remember, stay scared. Stay scared.